I'm tired of getting up every three seconds to turn this fan on and off with that uh, dial up there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use an Arduino, a uh, power supply for the Arduino, a, some cables to connect the um, relay to the Arduino, and a infrared receiver with an infrared remote. And we'll see if we can uh, just kind of wire the relay in and connect and power this via the, you know, or turn it on and off via the um, infrared remote. Um, else, I'm also dealing with mains voltage, so I'm putting this in a container and I'm probably going to duct tape the poop out of it so that it doesn't, uh, you know, there's no chance of stuff going bad. Yeah. It seems odd. That a little relay like this could, uh, you know, control that box fan. Um, but supposedly box fans only use about 100 watts. Um, and in other words, uh, if I am limited to, if we look at that middle line there, 15 amps at 125 uh, volts AC, right, I'm getting about 120 and I'm only using about one watt sorry, one amp, then yeah, this should be fine. Um, just as a quick di wiring diagram, I've got the digital two all the way to the left, the ground in the middle, and the 3.3 volts all the way to the right, just like last time. And <clears throat> I've got, um, on this guy, I've got uh, five volts on the plus. I've got ground on the ground, or you know the DC minus. I think they call it. And then I've got uh, digital all the way on on the signal volt rail. Um, and I have that on. Uh, I wish I could find it. actually had it backwards. Um, anyways, yeah, so I have the signal in on digital six. So here it is all wired up. Um, I push one button, it turns off. Push the other button, it turns back on. It turns back off again. So for this next step, carefully uh, splice out one of the sides on the power cord to the fan. And then we will be placing these into the NO and the COM uh, ports of the relay. Also, this is when it starts to get dangerous, so make sure you've got your uh, safety equipment nearby. Next, I hot glued it so that it, um, you know, won't move at all. Because the last thing you want is those cables slipping and then touching each other and then causing a short. Nothing like a little duct tape to instill confidence in your electrical projects. Uh, something about warnings, I don't know. Alright, let's try it out. Alright, we've got my safety equipment on. Let's try this out. Step one, let's stand back a little bit. Try to remember where my fire extinguisher is. Okay, nothing happened. Good. Alright, step two. That's, so that's on right, the fan is on right now. Let's activate the relay. Hey, it worked. All right, let's turn it off. Cool. And no one died. So this is the script for the <clears throat> relay IR on the fan. Um, so first we need the remote library, and oops, I forgot to remove this. We, you don't need that. Uh, basically, I just copied over the servo one from a few projects back. It's, you know, 90 percent the same. Um, you know, we're going to be doing the the IR. Sorry, yeah, the IR receiving on pin on digital pin two, um, and then the relay pin is going to be digital six, and then. We have to tell it 
uh, which pin we're using for receiving, and we need a div, uh, class in which to store the results, basically the, the input from the IR. And then yeah, the regular setup and loop. Um, we got a serial for debugging. We got a pin mode. Uh, basically, we tell the relay to turn on by default. You know, basically, worst case, we can unplug it and plug it back in, and it'll just you know work. And uh, tell it that we're going to be receiving from IR. Um, and then if it hears anything, then it's going to grab the the number that it heard. You know, it's going to decode the IR beeps into a number. And if it's a certain number it's going to go low, and if it's another certain number, it's going to go high. Um, those just happen to correspond to the channel down, channel ups on the remote. And yeah, and as you can see, it sets it low and sets the relay high, and then it goes back to listening.